first thing is we lay down a base of thread from the eye of the hook back to just past the point to the bend. And I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and this is to give the foam a little bit more to bite into, just a little bit right on top. And the foam is just a uh, atomic ant bodies and I cut them to about um, a hook gap length longer than the whole hook is and I place this on there such that I have one uh, white band and then the, a space of another one going out from the end of the eye of the hook like that and then I'm just going to lay this down and I want the tie-in point to be right there at the hook point and simply give that a wrap tight and then I'm going to work up some space to tie in my hackle again just about the width of that white band that's kind of how I'm measuring things here okay now we're going to select a hackle I just use some brown and I like to tie it with the shiny side towards me so in other words the uh, V pointing towards me on the hackle all hackles have a a shape to the wing. You can see that, maybe. But I want the feathers pointing away from me, the individual hackle fibers. And I'm going to tie that in right there. And hackle it. You want it pretty bushy. So just pretty dense hackle here. Trim off the excess. Okay, now what I do is I like to lay a base of some hollow tinsel. So I use this large hollow silver tinsel. It's nice and shiny. And I'm going to push this in right behind the body. So i got to push that foam back a little bit. Tie that in. And now we're just going to wrap that forward, covering all of the red. The top, tie that off. Okay, now I'm going to hit that with a little bit of super glue again, just right there where I'm going to tie this foam down. want to leave yourself enough room at the head and I usually pull the foam a little bit then give it a good tight wrap and then again I'm going to work a band of thread on which to tie the tackle, a hackle. Then we're going to do the same thing with the hackle on this portion. Tie it in there and hackle it. Okay, once I've got that hackle tied off, I'm going to pull the head back and I want to work in a nice red head with the thread, like so, and whip finish, I'm done. So this is going to be a great attractor pattern, it's good for rivers, still water, but it's a good one.